range azimuth. Mapping method is the definitely the most simple solution of the three. Um, especially equipment wise, all it's required is a triple 360 or 360R uh, because it has a built in magnetic compass providing azimuth readings and an arrow 100 or an arrow gold. Um, the configuration can look quite a bit different just depending on what your situation is. Um, in a forestry setting, you might have a backpack with the arrow gold or arrow 100 10 amounts of on there and then holding the true pulse taking measurements. Um, you may opt for a range range light setup where you have the arrow gold on a typical range pole and then the true pulse 360 hanging out the side. Um, it could look, you know, use that EOS antenna hat. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. This method is meant for taking quick measurements. It's probably the least accurate of the three, um, although it can still provide pretty accurate results. The one issue with this setup is that there are no uh, true pulse units that have a magnetic compass that are iOS compatible. And so uh, iOS compatibility is required for the offset mapping solution. Um, and so in order to use this device, you have to manually punch in three different numbers for each asset that you collect. So if I'm going with the range range setup, um, I'm just going to hang this off the pole. So I'm going to use two different brackets. I'm use a pole clamp. And I'm going to use a custom 360R bracket to mount this to the pole. Make sure that these two flaps are facing the lens and thread this onto the rangefinder. Then mount the pole clamp. Hole, just anywhere we can adjust it in a minute. Put the pin in the hole, press the button, it it locks in. Now this can rotate and then you can turn the pole uh, to aim the laser. Now make sure this is at a decent eye uh, level so you can look through it and then you are ready to go. Uh, for this the only setup that's required is to um, really just Make sure it's in meters and centimeters, so change your units. And to do that, you click the menu button and then change units to meters and centimeters. And then you're ready to go. Um, there's no Bluetooth connection, there's no cables, nothing. They're almost two completely separate systems. Um, I'm just going to take the readings from here manually by looking in through this, cycling through the inclination reading, the uh, slope distance reading, and then I'm going to, uh, and the azimuth reading, sorry, and then I'm going to punch those into EOS Tools Pro when it prompts me, and that will offset my current GNSS position to, uh, to wherever those readings are at. So I just press and hold the fire, wait till I get a reading back and then I would um, cycle through those three, punch them in, and then uh, you'll just probably send it to my mapping software. But it is quick, it's light, um, you know, you don't need any of this setup, you can just hold the range on your hand, so if you just need some quick and dirty offset measurements, this is a great solution. Just remember you need the 360 or 360R fruit pulse laser range finder, um, and then you also need iOS to run the offset solution in EOS Tools Pro.